What is going on that makes a narcissist treat you the way that they treat you? Why do they treat you like that? And what is going on with them? Why do they treat you like this? What is going on? So let's discuss what a narcissist is as um, it is looked at for trying to determine whether someone is narcissistic. So a narcissist has an exaggerated sense of self-importance. One of the things they're, they're looking for when they diagnose narcissism is an exa exaggerated self of self-importance, exaggerated sense of self-importance. They have a sense of superiority over others. They have the feelings of superiority, feeling like they're better than other people. There is a sense of, um, there is a fantasy of their own brilliance, a fantasy of their extreme excellence and how they are inflated over others. Okay, they, um, there is an excessive need for attention, an excessive need for basically the expression of attention, the expression of, of how great they are from others. They need us, that is the supply they're seeking, is they need us to reflect back to them just how important they are. That is how narcissists are, okay? Their relationships are usually superficial where you may have a relationship where you're a very um, connected person who likes deep relationships and you may think you have one with this person, but when you step back and look at it, it's really you who's doing all the giving in that regard. And they are extremely um, withholding and they are, are not, um, they're not connecting on a deep level. They are not giving you the depth of relationship that you, that you need. They lack empathy or they have limited empathy, limited meaning they can understand what someone might be feeling, but they're not going to go beyond that and express any care about it. So while they might understand, they don't care. They um, have a total lack of empathy in expression for other people. They may do things that look like empathy, like a more covert narcissist will help people out in certain ways, but everything is reflected back to what it gives them. It's about their image and about making them look a certain way. So it's not truly coming from feeling. Um, there's a lack of accountability with a narcissist. They do not take accountability. They refuse to take accountability. So there's that. Uh, the meaning that they won't admit their side of things in a real and true way. They won't apologize in a real and true way. They won't accept the way they hurt people and then do anything about it in a real way that makes a difference. They won't take accountability. They won't take responsibility for that. Um, their sense of self is superficial and rigid and fragile. So their sense of who they are is built up by the masks they wear. That is what their sense of self is. They have a grandiose image of themselves. So again, they're self-inflated, but it's in this grandiose way that is also um, fragile in that they cannot accept anything that challenges it. They can't accept anything that goes against the image that they're trying to portray against the mask that they're wearing. Okay. So when they're in relationships, they have a vulnerability around that ego, around that sense of inflated self in uh, the mask that they're wearing. And that, that, like I said, that can't be challenged. If it's challenged, you start getting devaluing. Even without it, they'll devalue. But if it's challenged, you'll get gaslighting, you'll get projection, you'll get blame shifting, you'll get all kinds of things because they can't have that happen. They cannot accept that at all. Um, they crave power and control in relationships. They need the power and control. They need to maintain that power and control so that it is in charge of what others think about them in charge of what others believe about themselves so that then they can maintain the power and control in the relationship so that that relationship never goes beyond the narcissistic uh, view of what it should be. In other words, so it's not <clears throat> so that there's no real relating back and forth. All you're doing is reacting to the narcissist, what they put in front of you. They're controlling it all. They're controlling the dialogue. They're controlling the way you think, the way you feel, the way you see them. Okay. And they need that. That is how they relate. They have a sense often of toxic shame. Now, this is an internal sense for them often that um, 
of how their inner world is. It is filled with toxic shame. Here's the here's the problem, though. Here, well, that's a problem to begin with. But here's a problem in that that toxic shame, instead of being directed toward inwardly, like some people do, or being worked on, like hopefully we're all doing, <laughs> they cover it with a mask. They cover it with a mask to pretend it isn't there so that they can go on and live in under the delusion who they're presenting themselves as and who they're claiming to believe they are. There's an entitlement to them. There's an entitlement that is disregarding of others, okay? It um, it masks their shame. It masks their vulnerability. It masks their insecurities, okay? And it convinces themselves. They convince themselves through this entitlement and this, this you know, sense of entitlement that, that they are superior and deserve everything. So you can see, like, why would they treat you this way with all of this? Why would they treat you the way they do? Because their whole life, this image, their whole life is to preserve this mask. That doesn't, they don't let that down because it is who they believe they are. It is who they, how they operate. It's to gain and to get. Okay, it's gain and get and use. And that's what they're doing. So there's a lack of deep empathy. We talked about that a second ago. There's a lack of deep empathy for others, which can make them selfish, cruel, hurtful, you know, all the things that they do because they simply don't care. They simply don't um, relate to others through empathy. They, they use whatever amount of cognitive empathy that they have to read you. And then they get information to use against you. So that's kind of how they see empathy. However, they want yours. They want your deep, loving, giving, heartfelt, all of that coming toward them. They want you to fill them up. They don't want to give back. They have nothing to give, okay? Because they're so filled with all of this other stuff. It's it's a lack of a true personality, really. It's a mask worn in lieu of a personality. It's a it's masks worn, several masks to present to the world who they need the world to believe they are. Okay, they lack boundaries. They lack boundaries. We know this, right? They not only lack boundaries. I mean, that's like putting it mildly. They enjoy pushing boundaries. They don't want there to be boundaries because if there are boundaries, at least for other people, if they if there are boundaries, that means they can't control you. And so they use the breaking down of your boundaries to get in, to get in. You know what I mean? Like to get in and to push your sense of self into the ground so they can control how you think and feel about yourself. And therefore you are theirs to puppet. Um, there is a defensiveness to them. Ever try and have a conversation with a narcissist about anything related to any topic that pushes even slightly on their vulnerable egos and sense of superiority, sense of uh, like they're, all the stuff we're talking about. Ever try to have a conversation that even says the most slightest, even in a kind way, something that has to do with something they've done. You're going to get hit smack between the eyes with defensiveness is what's going to happen. They are going to come at you with defensiveness. And, and that's that. That's They're going to gaslight. They're going to project. They're going to blame shift. They're going to do all the things we talk about all the time in here. And that's how they interact. That's So there is no way to have a deep meaningful relationship with someone who will not take accountability and instead is defensive. It's not possible. All right. They have contempt. They project, they deny, they dismiss, and they envy. This is why, because they're being defensive. They're being defensive to protect their sense of who they think they are, who they're projecting they are, who they're pretending to be, so that they can maintain power and control over their world because remember, for every narcissist, there's a little world, and we're all supposed to spin around that narcissist world, and that's the only world that exists. They treat you the way they do because all of the ways that I've described here, and then some, are the ways they interact, are the ways they interact within themselves to the world around them. So everything is about protecting that sense of who they believe they are that sense of who they're projecting and wanting you to believe they are. 
everything is about that. It's not about the interaction between two people. Everything is redirected back to them. You know, it's not like, hello, hello, and you're having a conversation and it's interactive between you and the other person and there's give and take and sharing. With a narcissist, it goes vroom, and they grab it and throw the, throw everything back toward themselves until it's something they don't want. Then they project it out onto everybody else. They are perpetually protecting the lie of the of who they are presenting themselves as instead of being authentic people because they don't have a true personality outside of the masks that they put on. When you see the masks come off, what you see are usually irritable, grumpy, uh, unpleasant, hateful people that don't have a whole lot of compatibility and human interaction skills underneath it all. That's usually what you see when the mask comes off. So um, relentless mind warping, that's them, correct. Yep. So it's not about you, though. It's not about you as a person. It is about them and how they treat people. They do the same thing over and over and over to everyone in every relationship that they have at some point. So if you're in an unfortunate situation where you have been swept into the world of a narcissist, it's not because there's something wrong with you. It is because this is how they treat people. Okay, you're not doing anything that could change their behavior. No amount of love, no amount of trying, no amount of effort, no amount of perfection, so to speak, on the side of the person who is their supply will create a happy, loving relationship. It won't because you've got all of the stuff I described there going on within that other person. They aren't good in relationships, period. They're just not. So um, so there's there's a little a little bit of why they do what they do. Somebody said recently to me, a great phrase. They said, when you step into the world of a narcissist in any way, you're stepping onto their stage, meaning the spotlight's on you on their stage and they are directing everything that's going on. Step off the stage, step away from that and look at it from the audience instead. In other words, observe what's happening when you're dealing with a narcissist and see all of this going on that, we, that I described here and then some in play, in action. See it in action so that you do not get swept into it with your emotions and your mind and all of your beliefs and your heart and your energy and your time. So if you have not done so, please hit subscribe and hit the thumbs up. If you do not know who I am, I am Lise Colucci, one of the life coaches over at Queen Being. Go over to queenbeing.com for anything you need regarding narcissists or understanding, healing from all of it. Um, if you need help or coaching, check it out in the main description of every video. If you need group coaching, there is a group going on at all times. And um, we meet three times a week. Uh, right now, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4.30 and Fridays at 11 a.m., 4.30 p.m., 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, so you do your math on the time zone. And um, if that works out for you and you need it, it's um, available in the info below. You can find find out how to hook up with that. Take care.